Hey everybody, Mike here at Animation Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Okay, so, well, today we're going to do a new subscriber request and the question that I received is, can you demonstrate how to create vines on a wall? Alright, now, I created this wall, it's just two simple cubes that I stretched out and I put a texture on it. And we're going to have these vines uh, go over the wall and on top of it. Now, in order for us to do that, we need to create a CV curve that is hugging the wall. And normally, if you create a curve, it will just be on the horizontal surface of your grid, all right? So what we need to do is we need to select our wall, and we need to go up to this uh, symbol up here, this uh, horseshoe or magnet at the end. And as we hit that, the cube is now alive, which allows us to create a curve hugging the wall. So with that set to live, we're going to go to create curve tools, CV curve tool. And we're just simply going to start to create a path for our vine. And we'll actually cross over to the next wall and just make a random flow wherever you like. And we're going to hit enter. Now you can see that the curve is actually hugging the wall. That's exactly what we want. And next what we're going to do is we're going to set up our paintbrush, which will be the vine. Okay, so initially that's a paint effects effect. All right. So we're going to go to Window, General Editors. We're going to go to Visor. And we're going to scroll down to Plant Mesh. And in this overview, you have a, um, a mesh called Ivy. Let's see where it is. Up here, Ivy Mel. We're going to select it and as we move over we now have a little paintbrush okay so we're just gonna left click and drag a stroke something like this we're gonna close this out and we're just gonna have a look at what we got so we're gonna hit F to zoom in and I'll actually hit W and pull it up a bit so we can see what it is so this is our a uh, our find so far and in our attribute editor, by hitting Control A, you can see that you now have an IV tab. And in this tab, you have uh, a lot of options. You can tweak the overall scale, right? You can tweak the length of the tubes or kind of branches, if you will. And you can all find that down here. Now, I'm not going to get into that. You can play with that, you know, and, and set it up the way you like. But I'm going to use this to uh, project on my wall. Now, it's a little big. So I'm just going to bring it down just to about that. And that's what we're going to use. All right. Now, first, with this selected, we're going to hit our space bar. And we're going to left click on generate. And then we're going to go to, uh, let's see, apply settings to selected strokes. OK. Then next, we're going to go to our CV curve. We're going to select that. Again, hold the space bar. Again, go to Generate, left click. And we're going to go to Curve Utilities. And we're going to attach brush to curves. And as we do that, you can now see that they are projected on our wall. All right. We're going to go to Windows and Outliner. And we're going to take our curve. And we're going to delete that because we don't need that anymore. OK. Now, you would expect when we render this out that we would actually see the, um, the ivy or the, uh, you know, the plants on the wall. Uh, but that's partially the case, and I'll show you. If we go to rendering, and this is just uh, something that I did as a test, so just ignore that. We're going to go to Maya Software. We're going to hit Render. And as you can see, it shows our vine, all right? However, if we switch to Mental Ray and we hit Render, and you can see that it is now gone. And that's not what we want, obviously, all right? Now, the reason for that is, and I'll just cancel this out, we need to transform this paint effect into a polygon mesh, OK? So we're going to select it, and we're going to go up to Modify, Convert, and we're going to select 
convert paint effects to polygons. Okay. So now if we zoom in and I'll just find a good angle for our render and we go into render settings in mental ray and we do it again. And we'll just give that a sec. And you can already see that they're showing up. And we've got some nice shading going on on our wall. And there you have it. So there are our vines. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, you know, tweak the settings uh, to your liking and uh, see if that's going to work out for you. And uh, if you've got any questions, as always, I'd be uh, glad to help. We'll just uh, have this uh, render play out for a sec. And there you go. This is our final render. And uh, yeah, it looks okay, I think. Um, so uh, have fun with that. And uh, see you guys next time. All right. Bye.